I recently got this bag for my stationery and uh, art journaling supplies on Joanne's website. I had been researching a bag that would hold all my stuff so I didn't have to like manually carry everything um, when I was working all the time. And I saw this bag being reviewed and then I found it on joanne's.com and it was on sale for $12. So I picked it up and just got here and so I wanted to do a little review if anybody else is looking for this type of bag. It works really great for art journaling or anybody that has a lot of supplies. So I'll just kind of go over the basics. Um, I didn't think it came in any colorway, different colorways so I just got the standard one black and blue. Um, it's pretty big. I have a lot in here, so it's pretty heavy. It's got pockets on every side. Um, so this side, I keep most of my markers, just like the little pipsqueak Crayola ones. And I have some distress markers on the side. So it has two, two small pockets, which are perfect size for these. And then these taller ones can show out. On the front, I keep my paper, paper mate pens, which I use to draw right in my journal entries. In this little pocket, I keep my glues. Um, over on this side, there's some more markers that I just had. There's also another little pockets here that I don't have anything in yet and then I keep a little roller stamp that I have on this side some more of the little markers and then I keep some of my smaller sticker collections in here so this is just like a little I think it's like a photo album <clears throat> or an ID card or something and I just stuck my like single stickers in there. And then I have like a, a little twin star stickers as well. Um, on the back is this pocket. Um, for right now, I just keep some extra washi tapes in here and a uh, regular tape as well. The main part, um, it has four different compartments. I don't know if you can really tell because everything's so stuffed in there. And um, one compartment, I keep my art journal. And I keep this Sailor Moon comic book because when I do um, this, this side's pages, um, I just kind of like lay it under like this so it's flat. Oh, the next one, next pocket, this is all of it's in this one because this one's so stuffed, is uh, my, just like my regular art journal because this is just like art. This one I kind of write in like my everyday stuff. So this one just has stuff like this and I've done a video on what's like, what's going on in here. You can just look at my previous videos. Um, next is just, this one is just a collection of all my stickers. So I have like books and little ones and alphas and the planner stickers. And here's another like little sticker organizer that I made before I had this. <clears throat> so that takes up one whole thing. I have like oh, some space for it more. And then um, originally, uh, this takes up the whole thing. Originally this I had bought for just my markers and pens. Um, but then I got this. So I needed a place to temporarily store my washi tapes. So I don't really like it in here right now because it's not accessible. I wanted like kind of make the little one-off ones for it but this is where I keep it now and then I also keep these other types of pens in here 
but I definitely need to find a different solution because I don't use it as much as these ones that are more accessible. So in conclusion, I definitely recommend it. Here you can kind of see the different pockets now that it's empty. Um, I would definitely recommend this if you're someone who has a lot of supplies and you don't want to be just sitting at your desk doing your work all the time. Um, it's definitely very sturdy because I keep a lot of stuff in here and it's very heavy. Um, so yeah, and it was on sale for $12 on, at joeins.com. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.